Hey there, Magic One. Just before we get into your tarot reading, I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me and in that reading I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you and I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices. Uh, and in that course, I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot, not just from the head, but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time. I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for July 25th to the 31st. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Gemini, I've got the nine card block here. I've got three cards for the recent past, three for the focused energy, three for the future outcome. I have oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Uh, Gemini, look at all the pentacles cards. One, two, three, four, five. So the pentacles are really about your resources. They are your, can be your money, your work, your investments, your home, your stability and security as well. So I feel like there is this real desire to increase your stability and secure insecurity and create and manifest more, but it has been a little bit of a journey for you. So we'll get to that. Um, the first card out was I am creator and I'm thinking this is total magician vibes and now who is at the heart of your reading but the magician. So this is an awakening here Gemini to your alchemist, your inner alchemist. We are both creators and co-creators of our own reality. We work with the universal energies okay and by taking the right action that is action aligned with the outcome we want to get to, we can change our reality. Now, one of the, the key uh, lessons of the magician is working the inner energy and changing that in order to uh, in order to alter the external reality. So if we're running an energy of high vibration, of gratitude, of joy, of happiness, we're putting out there into the universe this very high vibrational energy. And in a matching, energetically matching universe, we do attract back people, situations, opportunities that hold that energy. Now, if we're running a five of pentacles energy, lack and loss and um, stress and fear, then generally we attract from that place. And, you know, we can really uh, validate that position that, you know, we don't get the opportunity. So I am creator. It's time to elevate that vibe. Now, gratitude can really, really help okay being grateful for what we have is another practice that helps us elevate that energy it says here fill me with gratitude for all you give may i be a vehicle for wherever for may i be a vehicle for you wherever i go right we've got the chariot here there's forward movement right there is a new direction opening up for you now the Ten of Pentacles is here as your lead tarot energy and it sits next to the Devil. Now I feel for some of you there has been loss or lack in this kind of financial or work zone. Um, you know it could be that there was an investment that went bad um, and you've lost money. There could have been a debt situation. 
And some of you may be out of work or have lost a job or been made redundant. And that's kind of become some kind of, um, you know, the devil is the chains that bind us, right? It hasn't allowed you the freedom to, to make decisions here. So that's what I'm feeling. It's almost like you can see in this full card here, you're hanging by the edge of the cliff, but it's time to power up. And it feels like by making some good decisions, you know, you can turn things around here. With the Ten of Pentacles as your lead tarot energy, I feel the situation is having an impact on your home environment, the stability and security, maybe relationships, friendships. Um, so it really needs to be rectified, right? Because it's giving you this feeling of I'm on unstable ground, okay? So with the devil, we need to make sure that we're not um, buying into the fear. We're not buying into the illusions or fantasies that we're, we're operating through clarity. And that we're slowly but surely um, cutting ourselves free from any financial drains or chains that really bind us. So this is Capricorn energy for me. Of course, Capricorn very much, um, you know, is about business and money and, and, and building that as well. So that's the area that we're operating in. Now, in terms of other signs, I have the chariot. I've got Cancer. I have got the Fool here. I've got Aries energy. I've also got Queen of Wands with Aries energy. Now, you might be dealing with an Aries, or this might be the indication that you're needing to power up into Aries energy, which is making some moves, right? Being in that Emperor mode, making some strategic moves. It's, it's not foolish moves, it's strategic moves now. So let's jump in. I've got the Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Chariot, and I'm using the After Tarot this week, which gives me a different perspective as well. And I'm thinking there is a different perspective for you to take here. Um, I think the Seven of Pentacles here shows that you have been putting the work in here, Gemini. This is not a result of any complacency or any laziness, right? I feel like there's a certain amount of this has been out of your control. I think you have invested time, effort, and energy, but the crop that you've grown, right, the money, the resources, hasn't really led up to your expectations, and it's left you, you know, wondering. Now, for some of you, this has been taken out of your, um, out of your hands, and I feel like there has been some kind of ending here, Ten of Swords, some kind of loss of a job, or something like that. Something that you didn't see coming. And this Two of Pentacles, I see the the perspective from the back, right? It's like just when you were you were you were here juggling all the plates, doing the work, um, and then all of a sudden, I feel like there's been, uh, you know, there's been a decision made. Maybe somebody's told you to move on from this role of this work or something like that, and it's left you unsteady or unstable. Or there could just be the threat of that hanging around you at the moment in your organisation. So that's what I see, and I think that's kind of led you to thinking, well, I actually need to take matters into my own hands because this is not feeling stable. So with the chariot, I think that there is a moving on, moving forward energy here, whether that is you deciding to, to leave a job, look for a job, um, move out of this uh, position where there is a, a lack in the scarcity. The chariot is a victory card, and it's victory through making a firm decision, setting clear intentions, and then following through with the earthly action in order to push that chariot in a clear decision direction. Now, if we stay in two minds and we stay indecisive, two of pentacles, then our chariot can go literally all over the road or take the windy road and not end up at that destination you want to, to get back to, which is a healthy ten of pentacles. Stable, secure, home is good, money is good, home, you know, all of that, relationships good. So ultimately, we have the energy of victory here. Now, it feels like at the moment with this full card, things are hanging by, you know, a thread. That's what I see here. Um, you know, there, there could have been some leap of faith here that, that, that exposed you in some way. That is something that I'm feeling when I look at this particular um, full card. I don't feel this is a time for, for le leaps of faith. I feel like it's time for strategic action, okay? But it feels like strategic action can... Um, can open up a fresh new start and can like lift you over this, you know, get you back on the ledge, back onto terra firma, back onto firm ground. Okay. So the magician is here next to the 10 of swords. Now it feels like, I think that maybe you need to initiate 
some kind of ending here. Now it feels like something either painful or something that there is a, an element of deception or betrayal. It could have been that you invested in something, an actual investment or investing with somebody or you might have bought something, you... It could be your job and I feel like you are the one that may need to take action to either change or end it. As hard as that is, it's going to get you from the seven of pentacles back to the eight. Okay, it's going to get you working in the right direction again. It's going to get you building again. It's going to get you, you know, laying a new foundation here. So the magician tells me that you have all of the skills and resources and that this action can unlock a new level of potential within yourself and your life. You are creator, Gemini, okay? There is this new dawn, this new day. You can get off this ledge here, you know, you can climb back up. You can you can get back to that stability, back to that security. I feel like there's a strategic action, some kind of strategic ending, which might be getting out of this situation in some way before it becomes the bondage, the devil, okay? So if there's any kind of out clause in whatever this is, I think this is the time. This is the time, okay? Um, Eight of Pentacles, you know, this really could link to your job. But I see this as you, you know, getting back to carving out a new path. You know, we, we see, it's interesting because we see the Five of Pentacles here, separated from these three and I have the five of pentacles here which I'll clarify in a moment so it feels like you can overcome the five the lack the loss you know by the three of pentacles which can be coming together in a new team um, it can be about rebuild it's about you know the base up the ground up again okay and it's time to embody the energy of the Queen of Wands to help you with that Gemini. Now she is the energy of fiery determination, getting her energy back. She knows she can manifest in the direction of her, you know, of her, her passion, her purpose. So that's what I'm feeling. There is a potential to overcome this Five of Pentacles through time, effort, energy, work, strategic decisions, some kind of ending that's going to get you away from the cliff edge or have you climb back up here let's get one more Gemini the four of swords and then you're going to get a little bit of a recovery okay that's this is a recovery energy yeah it feels like there's some kind of like three of swords ending some kind of disappointment or hurt here it feels like you're going to have to abandon something but you've got that clarity now and you know, armed with that clarity, you're making a good decision that's going to help you recover from the five of pentacles and, you know, the 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 devil here again, it's called oppression and the, um, the oppression of that energy, okay, but we have to be mindful to make those decisions and not kind of fall back under the spell, knight of wands, that Sagittarian energy, yeah, it feels like the fire sign energy is really important for you which is really firing up, powering up. Um, the Knight of Wands is about, you know, only forward movement, you know, in that purpose of the new frontier. I'm, I, I'm taking a little peek over my shoulder, but I'm not looking back. So it's time to take action here, Gemini. Um, I wish you all the best if this is your reading. Um, please do drop me a comment, uh, let me know if it resonates for you, but also keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective so it won't resonate with everybody. Hit subscribe, that really helps support the channel and keep the readings coming, I'd be very grateful, that's my gratitude for the energy exchange between us, and I'm wishing you much love and magic for your week ahead Gemini, do take care, bye for now.